Welcome, 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 everybody. This is my channel, Monique's Jewels, to my subscribers and all my watchers. How's it going? To people who maybe, maybe are watchers and haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as subs, subbies. Um, of course, it's a free, it's free to subscribe. There is no cost. Um, you hit that bell right over here. It'll be right down there. Let's see. Right down there. Uh, you hit that bell, and it just notify you when I'm doing another video. Um, as far as, you know, if you purchase things from me, if you push that bell, you'll be notified, and maybe you could get something before someone else. You think about it that way. But anyway... Here we go. I have a showcase spotlight, which, you know, I do about once every three or four videos. This is a fabulous one. Um, I will show you. Let's see. Let's go to my screenshots real quick here. Um, let's see. Do I see them? No, because I have some really nice newer subs, too, and I'm just so happy. Oh, here it is, right here. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. Um, I found one on eBay. That doesn't mean anything to me because I don't price things off of eBay. Um, There is a bracelet also, a clamper. These are Heidi Doss. These are, you know, very nice. Very, very well made. This clamper is a large one. Look at the colors. Blue, green, and a purple. It is a gunmetal gold tone. This is a fabulous bracelet. Look at the back. I'll show you the inside, the clamper part. This thing has no scratches. None. Let me get it real close and personal. There is the clamper. There is the, what does it say, Heidi Dolls? Um, yeah, I'm kind of talking to myself, sorry. I think it's right. Yep, it's right, but it's upside down. Heidi Dolls, Heidi Dolls. Well, every time I move, I can't see it. China, Heidi Dolls. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring out the big guns on this one. Okay, there it is. Okay, look at that. The stones are pretty. Look at that. They're Swarovski. Okay, this is approximately. Probably two and three fourths across. It's a clamper, so it won't you won't have any problem getting it on. I'll show you the edging here as far as where. Okay. And I'm selling this and this watch as a set. Okay. Because they do go together. Because we have some little crystals here that have the same coloring. As this, they're both the gunmetal gold tone. This watch goes anywhere from 80 to 150. Um, and I'm going to put the bracelet in. See the color match? This has no wear either. I'll show it to you up close. It does have a little, I think that's a little what that is oh <laughs> that's the plastic that's still on it wow okay, I'll show you that's the plastic you can see it okay so it still has the plastic on it it is not running but I'm gonna price it to where you could actually go and have it 
put in because I do not want to uh, mess with it. There are too many rhinestones. Um, it actually says Heidi Doss right there. And I think there's one stone that is missing. One stone, I think you can see it there. Yes, it is the fourth from the bottom. But that is the only stone that I see that is not there. So I'm going to price it accordingly. If you look at this, you cannot tell. Turn upside down, right side up. Okay, so I'm going to sell this beautiful set together for 60. And of course, shipping is only five. So if anybody's interested, comment below. I'll be more than glad to get that off to you. This will be invoiced immediately. This cannot be bundled. So if anybody like this, this alone is just gorgeous. Um, and I don't mess with the stones like this. I, it's, you know, unfortunately, I wish I knew how because then I could make some money. But I would never. And I would never sell it to you without showing you that. This is pristine except for that stone. <laughs> it has um, a be little bezel set stone here on the timepiece, um, on the stem of the timepiece. The back here looks fabulous. I think it might have, yeah, that plastic's gone, but this piece right here is still there, which is amazing. Okay, so I'm not gonna take any more time but it is gorgeous. I'm going to give you a measurement on the watch band real quick. Man, that's nice and tight. These are just so well made. And this has got the curve in it. So this is probably, let's see if it says, let me see what it is on the, yeah, it's um, it's a good size. It's at least a seven and a half. Dang it! Do not do that again. No, no. Okay, so I'll show you. Yeah, it'll. It's good. It's probably right at seven and a half. Um, this is actually curved here where these um, beautiful stones are set. Just gorgeous. This will be boxed and sent to you to where you don't have to worry about it getting bumped or banged up. So, like I said, we won't keep going over and over but this is the showcase spotlight and it is $60 Heidi Doss in great condition just one stone missing okay all right guys we're going to finish this boho lot um, most of these are bracelets and necklaces is what we didn't get finished so I'm just gonna pile to start in on the pile Okay, this is one of those snakers, snakies. It is more of a bronze, gold tone. Um, a lot of people like these. Some people hate them. I think they're cool. I really do. Um, this could be a necklace. It could be a choker. It can be a bracelet. I'll show you. Bracelet-wise, you can do anything with it. I guess you could use it as handcuffs. No, I'm kidding. 
Anyway, then you just put it on and make a little twist here. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. So I have a new, new bracelet. Anyway, I'll put $5 on this. It's a smaller. It's not one of those great big silver tone ones that is heavy. This is about 32 inches total. So we'll put five on that. Set it right over here to the side. Next, we have something that I think matched those earrings. Um, this is different. I like it. It's a barrel clasp. Um, it's a little egg. Some of the little clear coat has come off there. I think just due to age. It is on wire. I mean, not wire. It's on um, plastic thread. Um, I just think it's pretty. I like the light colors. Um, we'll put $3 on this, and I will even add those earrings to it. They're in the box. So is this it? Let's see here. Yep, there they are. One. And two. So this right here is $3 with the earrings, okay? Very cute. I'll leave these out just in case we have another set like that. Okay, these are gorgeous. I mean, this is gorgeous. It's not these. This is gorgeous. Um, yeah, this is really cute. This has the mixed metals, kind of the um, patina you would find on copper. Or yeah, copper more so than anything. This is right at 16 inches. This looks good. It's very cute. Okay. I like that patina. That's neat. So we'll put three on that one. Okay, next. Yeah, we've got earrings that go with this. This has a little wear on this. Not not too, too much. Um, Let's see here. Makes me think, look, does that go with this? Do those go together? Well, if they don't, they do now. I think I'll put these with this. Um, if I can find the other one. Where are you? Um, yeah, I think that's a good match. Let's see. I'm gonna dump them all out. But I'm not paying to. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we'll still do um, the $3 for that, even though it should be more. That's okay. And I think we've got little studs that go with this little necklace. Same one. <laughs> Did I sell them already? That was one I was looking for. Did I sell them? No, I know I didn't. Come on now. Hmm. You guys are like, hurry up, lady. Um. Ta-da! I knew it. I knew it. Okay. They were just kind of all piled in one little pile. There's those. There's that. Not awful. Where did it go? Yeah, these little studs are hard to <laughs> keep track of. Oh, my God. Okay, is that it? No. Here we go. Okay, so that's cool. So we got sets, girls and boys. Let's put it over there. So this is three. 
These are kind of cute. Okay, that set there is three. This little set here is three. Isn't that cute? Okay. That kind of makes up for the chain being just a little dingy. Not not bad, but okay, this is probably good for beads. This is just very common um, threaded little bugle beads. So let's just do a dollar on this one. It's about 16 inches, 15 inches, something like that. Um, yeah, but the beads are cool. They're real pretty. Dollar. Okay, next we have a cute little medallion. It doesn't match the chain, but I like this. Isn't that pretty? Show you the back. Yeah, it's kind of vintage. Very pretty. The chain does not match, but that's okay. It's a fold over. Um, and we'll do three on this one. I like that. You can take that whole thing off of there and put it on something else. Put it on like a um, more of a gold tone. Um, yeah. See? Kind of gunmetal almost. Okay, next we have some bone. Would you believe that is bone? Let me check. Mm, yeah. I do believe it is. Bone and some cute little black beads with the white inside of them. Not real sure. But this is cool. I like the beads. I like these beads. Look at these. These have little holes in them. Yeah, these are cool. These are definitely... That just needs wiped off. These are definitely bone. And different kinds, almost like... Um, these are whiter. I don't know what that means. Yeah, so you've got like three different sets of bone beads on this. So there's four down here. These here are beautiful. They're really intricate. And then these are whiter up here. But it's about 28 inches. And I'm going to put four on that one. Okay. Oh, this one's different. This one has a stone on it. I'm not sure. It's see-through, so it's probably... It looks like a quartz. Here. Looks like a related quartz, but it's on this. I'm not real sure about this. I think the stone itself is worth a couple bucks. This does not have a maker mark, which most of them are not showing marked in this lot, but the lot has been nice. This is cute. This is kind of mixed metal. Um, the stone is beautiful. Um, I would take this thing off of here. This whole thing, probably. Um, we'll put three on that, because I think it's worth it just for this um, either quartz that is um, looks related to me. Okay? Alrighty. Next. Oh, I like this. This is not marked either. Wow. It sees matte. Um, different colored beads that are just, they're cold. So I have a feeling they're stone or glass. Most of these feel glass, like glass, but this is a beautiful leather, suede, leather, um, suede looking. Um, and we are right at 16 inches, which is lovely. You have the little gold spacer beads yeah these are this is real pretty um, so we'll put four on this one very pretty okay oh this is heavy this is nice metal beads gold tone a little silver and just kind of neat this is 12. So this is 48 inches of beauty. 
Etsy beads that are metal. These beads are metal. And then the bigger beads are probably a copper brass mix. But they're not necessarily hollow because they're kind of heavy. But this is not heavy. It's just the beads themselves are a little heavier. Um, so we'll put four on that one. That's a long one. Okay, this one is not in very good shape. It does have some cold beads. It is really pretty. I don't know if I can fix this or not. What do you guys think? I don't know. I've got enough thread. Maybe I can. I don't know. We'll see. I hate to have pretty things like that and they're not fixable. You know, they're just not wearable. It's kind of a craft lot thing, but... Oh, this is tiny. My goodness. I don't think it's going to fit me. Hmm. Yeah, okay, this one's so tiny. And it's kind of a plastic piece with just some metal. But maybe somebody could use this. I don't know. So I'll put a dollar on this one. I mean, it's tiny. It's barely over two inches. It won't fit me. Okay, I got to sneeze. Hold on, guys. I think. <coughs> Whew. Yes, I do. Did. I did sneeze. Okay. Let me put these over here. These are pretty. Okay. I've got some nice ones. Let's do some bracelets. Okay, I've got this beauty. It's a stretchy. It's kind of stretched out. So I think I will fix this one too. And I'll bring them back out when we do our next video. Because I can kind of sit around. Okay, this is filthy. But it's, it's really pretty. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to use one of these and clean it because it's a beautiful key. A lot of people like keys. Okay. And let's see if it'll clean up. I think this is where the tag was. That's why it kind of grossed me out. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have to use goo on. Oh, it's coming. It's just going to take a minute. Okay, I'm not going to waste a whole bunch of time, but it's very pretty. It's coming. Yep, it was, it was um, adhesive from the tag. Okay. Very good. It's almost off. Okay, it's almost all the way gone. This is, says Faith. It is leather. Really nice suede leather. Brown. And I'll give you a measurement even though there's a curve in it. It is approximately right at 8 inches. And I'll show you on my wrist. It does stick out like that. So, this is beautiful. So I'm going to put five on this one. I like it very much. Isn't that cool? Yes. Okay. So we've got that. I wonder if there's any more. Okay. Now, these are a little heavier, but these are cool. This is Salisbury Pewter. This is March. I looked these up, and what they did was they used these. Some, some people used them as bridesmaids' presents. You have June, May, you know, you have all the months. So this one here is March. And this one is Salisbury Pewter, and it is November. So I think this is probably, what would this be, a mum? This almost looks like a mum. This is the November Okay, and this, oh, beautiful, daffodils. That is March. 
how appropriate. These are beautiful. These are just beautiful. And yes, you can you can size them. And these are approximately two and a half. This one's a little smaller, it's about two and a quarter. I don't know if you can, I don't know if they come in sizes, I bet you they do. But these are gorgeous. Okay, let's see. Yes, you can definitely move them. I moved that quite a bit. Yeah, you can move them and push them back down. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. I love it. This is November. Ouch. And this is March. Yeah, these are nice quality made pieces. So I'm going to put 12 on each. 12 a piece. Aren't they pretty? Okay. I'm going to keep going here. Set those there. I like those. Oh, we got some little glass beads. Let's see. Let's do a lot. Let's lot these up. That's a stretchy. Oh, I like those. Oh, that almost matches that bracelet, that necklace. See these? They've got those matte beads that are cold. And the hand's a hand, but I, this is a gold tone, so let's don't, yeah match those so let's put some together this is a stretchy but it has a toggle that one's loose so let's put some loose beaded necklaces over here let's see is that a stretch no okay so let's pull all these out and we will lock these up real quick some are not you know, these two are glass. One of them's a little stretched. This, this one isn't stretched. It is on a toggle. So I'll put that there too. Oh good, we found some more beads. Um, oh, that's plastic. Okay, so I'm gonna put all the plastic ones together, but these beads are cool. Oh, these are whales. How cute. There's some wood with that piece that looks like turquoise. And this one. I think all these, these are very nice. Um, two. There's that one. That one's got great stretch it's not too thin so those are all 100 percent these can all go together this is actually a necklace but it's a stretchy and it's got some really cute beads on it and a spring ring clasp so i'll put that together and these are stretched out do i see any more no. okay so what we're gonna do yeah i do That's pretty good. Okay. So there are, and these are mainly for beads. Okay. One, a stretchy necklace. Two, three, four. These are all stretchy. Five, six, seven, eight. Not, look at the beads. Aren't those cool? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's about 13 stretchies here. And let's do three dollars for these because I want somebody to have some nice beads and then these are nicer because they're not all stretched that's a nice stretch on that one not all stretched out these two are pretty this is the kind that rolls down that's a stretcher it's nice and then this one there's nothing wrong with this one and it's a toggle so let's do oh goodness let's do three for this set that hurt. Okay. Set that here. All right. Now, this one here. 
This is pretty. I'll put this one on and show you. I like this one. This one is a little bigger. Um, the pinks and the golds. It's beautiful. I'll show you what I mean. It's just it's just got some stretch to it, which is wonderful. Um, this would probably fit right at a seven. Um, I'm gonna put three dollars on this one because it's in great shape. There's nothing wrong with this one. Okay. Got three dollars on that one. It's a beauty. Okay, these are kind of precious stones, so we'll wait on them. I don't know what this is made out of. That's that's a good question. Um, I've got to have this earring. I'm so scared I'm gonna lose it. Okay, whoops, almost did it. Okay, this is not magnetic. I don't know. I think it's copper. Um, it is an anklet. It's pretty cool. It's very pretty and shiny. And it is nine and a half inches. Okay, so I do believe it's an anklet. And I'll put three dollars on that. It's a beautiful little herringbone chain, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty. Here we go. Okay, this is another anklet, and it is hematite with a spring ring clasp. It is very pretty. Um, let me open it up. Did I show you the clasp on this one? This is unusual. Isn't that neat? So that one's three. This is hematite, and it is a long one. It is almost 10 inches. Yep, right at 10. So let's do three on this one. Isn't that pretty? It's that non-magnet. Hematite, it is not magnet. Oh, come on, get off of there. Okay. Um, oh, these here. Okay. We have charm bracelets that are just darling. Oh, I like this. This is an older one, it looks like. I had a necklace that looks like this. Hmm, I don't think it's even in this lot though. But anyway, I'll show it to you. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, I thought I did anyway. Very pretty. And it is, it has a lobster, so it's not that old. But it is, with the extender, it's going to be a little over eight. Without the extender, it's seven and a quarter. Um, so that's a nice size. And I'll show it to you up close. They're really pretty. So I'll put four on that one because it looks in perfect condition. Um, I'm going to look through here real quick, but I don't think that necklace was in here. I think that necklace was from a couple, from some totally different, yeah. Yeah, probably long gone by now. Okay, this one has a fold over. This one is darling. This looks like Liz Claiborne, but I don't think so. I don't think it's got a mark on it. Mm -mm. Okay. I'll show it to you real quick. The Starling. Nothing wrong with it. But see what I mean by Liz Claiborne? That's what it looks like. It's not. Um, everything is perfect on it. The back is perfect. And we'll put five on this one. And I'll give you a measurement real quick. Isn't that cute? Okay. This is about seven and a quarter nice size. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, so we'll put five on that one. Now, we have this one here. And I could have sworn this matched something. But it's okay. It's alright. 
People like these. This is like a triple strand. I mean a triple. A six stranded little one, two, three, four, seven. Okay, this has some ceramic beads and some plastic beads and some seed beads. So it is approximately seven inches. No, it's about seven and a half. And it could be eight. And I'll show it to you real close here. Isn't that pretty? This is the lobster. It's the same on both sides, just because they're both... You can see the ceramic and the plastic and the seed beads. So we'll put three on that one. It's very pretty. This is why I like this one. This one's pretty. And it is a lobster. It has a mark. And this one is Avon, I think. Is that what that says? No, this is Monet. Uh-uh. I'll show it to you. This is Monet. I'm going to keep this one. I think I've got one very, very... I've got one somewhere. Okay. I'm keeping that one. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So, oh, we got another stretchy that's pretty nice. I'll put it with that other group of stretchies that were good. Isn't that cute? Where'd it go? There it is. Kind of with this set here. Okay. Move all that right here. I hope that's not, like, getting on your nerves sitting there. Okay. Then we have... Another fold over, but I don't know about this one. It looks like it has a little condition issue. Yeah, let's just put this aside. I mean, everything's there. Maybe it just needs cleaned. I'll show you what I mean. It's got like a little bit of kind of green. So let me get that cleaned up. I'll work on that when I do those bracelets. Let's do this three-piece set here. Um, these are bangles, but you know what? These are nice. This is like the mesh. This is plain. And this has the rope. So these are pretty. So I'll just do, let's do $2 on these three. Okay. This is... A Shambhala type. I don't know if that just needs wiped. Hold on. Let me wipe it real quick. We're doing really good on time. Um, yeah, sometimes they just need to be kind of wiped. Um, it's too bright for that. Okay. So we have the Shambhala here, and this is the front with the little beads, little clear beads. They're kind of a whitish pink, and then we have the little gold tone beads, and then the box chain here. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it looks better, just the fact that I wiped it off. Um, and then they... the Shambhala gets smaller and bigger so this one can go about any way you want it so I'll put three on that one this one's pretty this is real, real nice this has a toggle um, I'll show you the bottom part of it that's the bottom yeah this is fabulous this is a nice one and the thing with this is you can make it shorter or longer with the toggle because they're all the same. They have rings. Okay, let me check this for a name. Anybody? Somebody? Everybody? I don't see a single one, but let me check it to make sure I've got all my stones. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so this is cool. I'll show you how this works. These go one on either side of these rings. So they just kind of hang like this and this. And I think you get it. Come on. Just like that. Isn't that cute? Okay. This one's a long one. I'll show you real quick. This one is right at eight inches, but it could be a seven and a quarter. If you go back one ring, so that's all you'd have to do. Instead of doing this ring here, you would just do this second ring and put the toggle through. It's so simple. Toggles are so nice. So now I said about seven and a quarter. And all you've got is just one little ring hanging. Very cool. Okay, this is orange and yellows with the gold tone. That is perfect on here. No scuffs or anything. Oh, cool. This has even got little ink caps. Isn't that pretty? So let's put five on this one. Very nice. This one is cute. This one is a rosary style, but you have a kind of a mahogany jasper and, um, oh, tiger's eye. And it's tiny and it's sweet. It's little chips. Let me get it open and I'll get a size for you real quick. Okay. This is seven and a half. And I'll show it to you real quick. And you've got the tiger's eye and mahogany jasper or the red jasper, whichever. Okay, so we'll put four on that one. That's cute. Okay, let's put some of these together. Oh, this is neat. We have a piece of sea glass that someone has wire wrapped. And it's pretty cool. Wire wrapped, ready for a pendant. I mean, ready for a chain. Like that. So I'll put three on that. It's neat. Okay, these three. Let's do two, because this one is just really kind of... This one's in bad shape. But I think I'm going to just leave it with it, because it's... I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Um, so remember, I already have showed you that's in bad shape. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's like shell, I think. I'm not positive. It's inlaid. I don't see any markings. It's not bad on the inside, honestly. And this one is so cool. And it's, it has a little bit of wear, but I just think they're very neat. So I'm going to put $3 on these three because I think they're cool. There, show them to you. See? Yeah, I like that. Okay. So that is $3. I'll buy it. That one. That one. over there we have a pendant that came off of a probably a necklace oh okay I was thinking it was just this one no it's these two they're rings that go there okay I think it's kind of cool um it's faux they are kind of cold though isn't that weird yeah, that's kind of faux-y. Faux. Cold-feeling stones, but I think they're acrylic or resin or something with these pretty little crystals. And there's that there, and there's that there. So this is all ready for a chain. I don't see a maker mark on this. It's made very well. 
So I put three dollars on this. Is that pretty? Okay. Let's do a couple more necklaces. Here's one. This has a marker, a cartouche. It has a. I think that's an a V. I know this mark, and I can't remember. It's a cursive V. I know, I know it. I know, I know it. Let me show you. It's a cursive V. But anyway, it's got some cat's eye beads and some other ceramic beads. And it's an older piece. It's kind of a gunmetal. Um, it is probably 15 inches. It has an extender. It is kind of a choker style. It's very pretty. So I'll put three on that one. Okay, this next one. It's kind of a satin finished gold tone. Um, I think it's okay. It doesn't seem to have a lot of wear or anything. It does have some little dangles that are kind of cute. I can get them all to go the right direction. Okay. There's this. Oh, those are pretty. Okay, so you have the gold dangles, and then you have the little rhinestones. Isn't that cute? I'm sure to like this. There we go. So I'll put four on this one. This has got some potential. Very pretty. Okay. Oh, I didn't get a length on that. Oops. Oopsie doodle. Okay, that is 18 inches. So that's real nice. Okay, next. Oh, we just have a little tassel. Have a little tassel necklace. Okay. So let's put $2 on this one. And it has a black a metal chain that is about 30 inches or so, but it's still cute. I think these are glass beads. Yeah. So you got glass beaded tassel, long necklace, long chain on it. We'll put two. Okay, this one. This is pretty. This is a choker or torque. Um, it, yeah, it's pretty. I like this. This is not marked that I can see. Let me wipe this off. Hold on, guys. This is very pretty. It's lightweight. It wouldn't weigh you down. Um, it's very pretty. Looks better now. There we go. Look at that. So I put four on this one. That's really cool. I've never, I haven't seen one quite as cute as this with the three, three tiered. So that's cool. Very pretty. Um, this one and this one. I I don't know what's going on. I have actually had this necklace before. No maker mark. And I definitely don't know now because, believe it or not, the other one that's just like it has no chain. I mean, no clasp. So these two, whoever had these, took the clasp off of them. So I'm going to put some cla clasps back on them. Okay. Um, and I will show them to you in my next video. Look at that. That is just so weird. And these are coal beads. These feel like onyx, and that feels like tiger's eye. I mean, that is tiger's eye. <laughs> but this does. This feels like onyx. It is a really nice bead. Black bead here. So I'm going to work on these two also. Gosh, I've got a lot of work to do, don't I? Okay. Next, we've got a beauty. You know how I am. I like different. 
Okay, this is so cool. I am just gaga over it. This has some wooden beads mixed in with the metal, mixed metals and mixed pieces. This has wood seed beads in with the gold tone here. This is a huge um, like design, eye-catching design piece here. Um, I just think it's so cool. And then you have these seed beads that are attached to the chain as more decoration. And then you have a beautiful, very intricate chain up through here. This is not marked either, which is kind of strange because I love it. And it has a lobster and an extender. I will give you a length on this one at, right at, oh, uh, probably um, 22 inches. Plus, it could be even longer. But this one is super cool. Let's twist it. There we go. There we go. And then we cut this, and that's. And it's not heavy, heavy. It's really not. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to put seven on this one. Yeah, it's really cool. Really, really cool. Okay. Next. Well, let's finish these real quick. I've got that one. We, oh, that bird is so cute. We've got a birdie. We've got a couple really pretty bracelets. Okay, we're almost done. We're getting there. Okay. Let's finish with the bracelets. And stretchies. And this one here is BCB. No, what? Who is this? Yeah, BCBG. And this is in excellent condition. It says tough. Some of us are, some of us aren't. Um... I like this one. Um, it looks brand new. It's a light pink. I'll show you the BCBG right here. And so I'll put four on this one just because it's in great shape. It is approximately eight inches. Almost eight inches. We'll just put it that way. Hey! And... We have our spirit animal, our owl, and he's a clamper. Isn't he pretty? And he's in excellent condition. Right there and there. Isn't that pretty? And there he is. So I'm going to put six on him. He's in great shape. Okay, and he fits me. But he also is a bit big. So I would say probably seven and a half. Maybe even an eight could fit. Okay. Clampers are really nice for everybody. This is really gorgeous. Um, I didn't find a maker mark. This thing. This is like a cuff. But it's not. It's a stretch. This thing has the most beautiful, I think they're actually plastic or acrylic. And they're held together with the clear plastic stretch. And it's a little big for me, but it has the little bows here, the little knots. And it is a gold tone gunmetal. And it is spectacular. And I'm going to put six on this one. Very pretty. Look at that. Lovely. I'm going to put six on that one. We have a birdie. 
little very old vintage little sparrow I think with the pin and he is actually sitting on a little tiny piece of branch so brooches are hard to come by nowadays this is wood it's an excellent shape look at the painting on his eye beautiful I don't see a maker mark so this must have been vintage made hand I mean handmade by someone that really knew what they were doing so this is ten dollars for this beautiful bird let me set him over here okay Let's get her done okay this is pretty this does not have a maker's mark either but we've got kind of a gold tone, um, a lighter gold tone with some pinks, light pink, and clear beads going down. And then we have a tassel that has, hold on here, that is all messed up here. There we go. We have a tassel that also has a quartz crystal and a beautiful leaf here. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that neat? So I'll put five on this one and it is probably um, 26 to 28 inches in length. Has a nice lobster and it's nice and gold tone. Okay, very pretty. So next we have a beauty. It is a three-tiered gold tone with some very pretty jewel tones also. Kind of the brown and the um, AB faux pearl. And some circles. Show it to you real quick. Oh, we got some opalescent, opalite looking beads also. Come on, guys. There we go. There we go. Okay. We do have some wear here. So I will do a dollar on this one. No, that's not wear, is it? I think they're supposed to be like that. Those, oh, those are darkened circles. <laughs> Okay, let me show you up close so you won't freak out on me. Yeah, those are like darkened gunmetal, like a dark gunmetal circles. Okay. Yeah. So, we'll do four on this one. It's beautiful. And it is 16 inches at the shortest. And they're all, they're not kind of, you know, stair-stepped a little bit. But not much. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I thought there was square, but that's the color it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, this is beautiful. So we have a leaf that's been, like, dipped, probably, most likely. Um, and it's got a double strand. There's four strands on this one. It has a beautiful lobster. I don't believe this is silver tone. I mean, silver, sterling, anyway. Show you the lobster, very nice. It's got the shiny, shiny, and there's the leaf. And it is approximately about 50 inches. Isn't that pretty? So for the leaf, it's very light. It would be very pretty with some silver tone, little thin hoops. So I'll put four on that one. Very nice. Okay, we have, oh, this is cool. This is a magnet. Oh, it's a strong magnet. Okay, we have about 15 and a half inches. And we have those gold 
really nice gold tone disc or circles here, balls, circles. And they're knotted in between, a little heavier. Um, very nice piece. So let's put four on that one. Very nice. Okay. This is worn as far as the chain goes. This is very cute. It says, you are stronger than you think, loved more than you know. So I think that this is gunmetal and it's supposed to be that way. It's kind of like a mixed metal type of thing. So we'll put three on that. It's very, very cute. Very long, it's about 12. It's about 30 inches, but that is darling. Okay, we'll put three on it. Okay, next. And we have this pretty one. Gold tone is really nice on this. And you have um, mixed metal again. I don't know if you can see it. You have a black and gold here. Then you have the gold tone and the bronze here. And it goes down. It's really pretty. Very unusual. So this one is uh, 12. Let's see. Uh, 48 inches, give or take half inch or so. So we'll put four on that one. I like that. It's nice and lightweight. And real pretty. This one is gold filled. This is an older piece. This actually says fourteen karat gold plate. GP gold plated. Okay. So it's this little guy. And so that probably means it's silver sterling. But I don't see my, where's it going? Um, oh, there it is. Nope, it's just gold plated. Yeah, that's this here. It's that little ring. Yeah, so it's sterling with the gold plating. And it's old. It's older. See the clasp. So if anybody's interested, let's put three on that. Okay. Next we have, we're just going to finish. We're in at 103, but that's perfect. That's fine. This is so cute. This is almost 16 inches, and I really, really like it. This is so cute. This is a necklace. And it's got like those little coins. This is beautiful. I think you can see it pretty well. Look at that, isn't that pretty? I like that. So you've got this. Just a beauty. So I put four on that one. It looks brand spanking new. Isn't that neat? And they're like little, teeny tiny little coins. If that fly doesn't get out of here. Then we have, but I do believe, yeah, these are broke pearls. Um, this thing needs an ultrasonic cleaning. <laughs> it is old. It's an old piece, you can tell. I don't know if this will help or not. Um, in it wild, you just never know what you're gonna get in these lots. Let's see if that helped. Okay. This is the little part I just cleaned. This part I didn't, I don't know. But anyway, you've got like that S-Wave Singapore 
that's what I call it. Um, you've got the little pearls, little pearls, they're real. This is um, a spring ring clasp. This, I don't think this was anything spectacular. Um, well, it does have a mark. Hold on here. Let me see how, real quick. This might be something nice. Might be gold filled. Okay. Says, um, yeah, it says one twentieth. One twentieth. Hmm. Something or other that I can't read. It's probably 120th 12K. Just says 120th, and there's not much more. And then there is something, though, right here. Oh, where'd you go? Hold on. RH something or THM. Rhodium. I don't know. I don't think they rhodium plated things back then, but maybe. But anyway, this is gold filled most likely. And it is an older piece. It's a little more matte. The pearls need some cleaning. So I'll just put five on it. It's a vintage piece. It is about 22 inches. Yep. And it is marked right here. It's funny because it's marked on this little ring here. It's marked on that ring. It's not marked on the spring ring. Just kind of unusual. Spring ring doesn't say anything. Okay, we'll do that. Then, almost done. We have a lobster clasp oh these are cute i think what we've got is actually um looks like little onyx chips with some hematite this is pretty I'll show you up close see those chips i don't think they're hematite chips i think they might be onyx but anyway it is really really cute i like these here. These little end caps there that go down are so cute. Okay, so this one is, this is 18 inches. This is really cute. So I'm going to put five on it. Love it. Very unusual. It's not the normal. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, this has the satin gold finish to the chain. It actually is a toggle necklace that toggles in the front. And then you've got this. Isn't that pretty? So you've got a you've got a shell, you've got tiger's eye, and you've got this beautiful, it looks like gold stone times a hundred. Look at this gold stone. Wow. Look at that. I've never seen one like that. It is faceted. And the tiger's eye is gorgeous. It's a shell there. And I'm not sh And that's all shiny. That's a, oh, that's like one of those cathedral um, beads. Very vintage. Yeah, this is gorgeous, guys. So I'm going to put six on it. It is right at 16 inches. And it toggles in the front. And it lays so pretty. Okay, next. Oh, we have another one that's cool. Oh, my goodness. This is a leather toggle. I mean, a leather tassel. Tassel, tassel. We have a leather tassel here. We have a beautiful piece of glass, faceted teardrop. Then we have the little 
claw or whatever that is feels like halite that's pretty and then you have this beautiful you know what this is you see how cool it's a little mesh netted druzy I love this so I'm put eight on this one it's got a really nice leather cord that is 25 inches what else am I going to mount let's see 28 inches I would say these are beautiful. Both of these are nice. So we'll put eight on that one. This one is also gorgeous. This one is not marked, but you know what? It is awfully pretty. This is the back. Look at that. And then this is the front. So we have a, like a cat's eye moon glow. Beauty. And it is on a kind of a leathery cord. And this one is, what is this? Oh, it's Leah Sophia. Right there. Isn't that pretty? So I'll put five on that one. That one's very unusual. Kind of itchy. Sorry. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, this has a P. I don't understand. I don't know why. This does not seem to have a clasp. This is a very lightweight gold tone. Very beautiful. The P, and then it's got that there. It's a kind of a. Yeah, it's a double strand. Down here, isn't that pretty? And it's so lightweight. Look at these little faux pearls. Look at that. Now this is gorgeous. This was set over to the side. I didn't even see it. So this one is probably... It's about 30 inches. And it lays just like that. It is gorgeous, guys. Look at that. I'm sure these are faux. Yeah. Those are faux pearls. It's very pretty, very long, very gold. So let's put five on that one. Is there another one here? Oh. Okay, we have a tree of life that is in almost like a rose gold. And a rose gold little popcorn chain. This is pretty. And I'll put three on that one. And I think it's probably about 15. Yep, 15 inches. I'll put her there. She's darling, though. There we go. Rose gold, copper tone, but real shiny. The popcorn chain. That's beautiful. And then we have... Yellow, yellow. Oh, it's ombre. It's a light yellow down into a darker yellow. I couldn't hardly tell from the sun. That is a magnet. That is the devil. Okay, this is very pretty. Light, medium, and dark. And it's very subtle. Beautiful yellow. Just beautiful. It's got the little chain there. Very nice. So let's put five on that one. Now let's put four on this one and it is about 20 inches. We'll do four. Oh, this is cute. They just got cuter as they went along, guys. Isn't that funny? Okay, this is a copper tone and a kind of a leather. This is cool. This is real pretty. And I think it's got all those little rhinestones. Look at that. So we've got copper color, leather. There is the clasp. It looks great. 
And we have this here. It has rhinestones right there. And it is about 16 inches. Almost 18 inches, yes. It is really pretty. And we've got the little brown tone there. So we'll put four on that one. Now let's put three. I see a little tiny... Is that weird? No. We'll put three on that one. A little bit of wear there. Not much. Not that you can really see. Okay, this is a leather cord. And it's just knotted. But it's got this little uh, Queen Elizabeth. The old Queen Elizabeth, not the new one. Elizabeth. The end. I don't know what this is. I think it's a replica of a coin, of a British coin. So I'll put $2 on that. So right there, it's just on leather. It's not anything spectacular. Two more left, guys. Oh, this is pretty. This is a black gun metal. And it's got this design with these. Yeah, this is cool. I'll try to show you how it's going to look. Isn't that neat? Oh, I love it. Gun metal. Great. Looks good. It is approximately. Let's get these over a little bit. This is right at. Almost 16 inches, plus it has an extender. But isn't that pretty? Let's look and see if all of these are there. Yeah, I think so. So I'll put four on that one. That one's cool. No, let's put five on this one. Yeah, I really think this is worth a five, a fiver. Cool. Love it. Okay, and there's one left. I can't believe we finally got through this. There's like 15 pounds. Okay, this one does not have a maker mark. It is cool, though. It has these tiny little rectangles that just hang. And we've got some little, I think those are glass. Whatever they are, they're cold. There's a dark one there, and a dark one there, and a purplish one there. Um, so you can see it. Isn't that cool? And it is approximately 16 inches. Really nice, lightweight, but cool. I'll put four on that one. And oh gosh, we're almost done. Okay, let me put this on so you can see. Oh, this thing is just, it's not going to work. Dang on it. It is too flimsy, guys. And it's got this beautiful piece of soda light. I just hate that. Isn't that pretty? So, look how it just, I don't know. I don't know. I think the stone is so heavy that it just, yeah. Well, how sad. I had to kind of double it over like that. Well, I'll sell it for five for the stone. I don't know. I just want you to be very well aware it's very flimsy. Here, it's not broken. It's just kind of flimsy. Okay. And the stone is magnificent. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, we're going to stop at that. We have done it. It's done. Yay! Okay, so you guys, I've got other things to show you. Um, the craft lot, uh, the craft lots didn't get made. I started to, but I'm afraid people are going to get too confused with the wearable lots. So the craft lots will wait for a while. The wearable lots are still Every last one of them are still available, so I'm kind of upset, but that's the way it goes. Um, after I get my 50, you know, 450, only need two. 
Well, I need two more subscribers. So after I get my 450, I might come back with um, a couple dollars off or something like that if you purchase something from my next video or who knows. For the craft, for the, um, well, we could do it for craft lots too. Because I got about five I need to make up. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get this um, uploaded for the day. Um, craft lots can wait. So the wearable lots that I have, like I said, have not sold. So I might um, do something to try to get them to sell. I'm not real sure what to do about it, but if you guys are interested, go back to the video. And, you know, they're mystery lots, so there's nothing I can do too much about it. Um, you know exactly how many pieces, you know more or less what's in them, and you know how heavy they are and how much they cost. So we'll just stop at that, and we will talk to you guys a little later on. Have a wonderful afternoon and evening. Talk to you soon.